are following a developing story in Waterbury tonight. Two men shot and killed at a home there. One of them an off-duty police officer. Police just releasing his name moments ago. Hi everybody, glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. And I'm Ann Craig. Police say that officer is 37-year-old Halleck Yacher, who worked for that department for 10 years. Tonight, police are still investigating what happened. But they say there's no threat to the public. It happened in the area of 31 Marion Avenue, and police are still out there investigating that scene. News 8's Noel Garter is there live tonight with where that investigation stands tonight. Noel. Darren and Ann, this investigation has been ongoing all day. Just a few minutes ago, the police towed a car away, and right now behind me, they are still here at the scene investigating. Been horrific here. I'm pretty shook up. The neighborhood is pretty shook up, as you can see. I'm shaking now. Two men are dead, including an off duty Waterbury police officer, after shots were fired early this morning. Well, I got up around 4 30 to go on my computer as usual, and I heard some bangs. I thought it was the children shooting fireworks off again. Residents heard several shots in a row, following a pause and then one more shot. I heard at least four shots up on a third floor saw lights flashing and then I heard another one. Residents say shots were fired on the third floor of a multifamily house on Marin Avenue. The last shot came from the backyard. And as I entered my backyard, I looked over the fence and I could see a gentleman lying there, obviously passed on. Upon arrival, they located two deceased males at the residence. One deceased male was identified as an off-duty Waterbury police officer. Police say the men knew each other. This is an isolated incident. There is no threat to the public or the community. And this investigation is long from over. Detectives in the back of that home at this hour and in that third floor home. I'm live tonight in Waterbury. Noel Gardner, News 8.